how to complain politely. Hello friends, this is Shuntel and today share it's just a reminder to each and every one of us that it is alright to complain but do it politely. Start in a polite manner. Make your request into a question. Explain the problem. Be careful what you what words you are using. Yes, you must explain the problem rather than saying your information is wrong. Don't blame the person you are dealing with. Stop blaming. You remember that blaming a person doesn't help anything. You have to be patient to do it. To see the situation and not looking the person. Don't blame the person you are dealing with and show that you know and understand the situation. Don't assume so you'll meet with negative response. Assuming that expressing your emotion will cause conflict is a part of the problem. Therefore, there's a lot of people complaining from one thing to another. Use the word I feel statement without justifying them. Express what you want before you know what you don't want. Simple as that. We must understand that when we complain, we must do it effectively by focusing on feelings, not facts. The difference comes down to whether you discuss the facts about the situation or your feelings about it. Talk through what's prostrating you. This is very important. You have to be wise to talk through what is really prostrating you while you are complaining. You must know how to lead with how you feel. See, there you are. We have to understand how we handle our feelings. How can you lead the conversation without being angry? We have to understand that we need to be wise and smart when we are going to complain. We must understand the psychology behind complaining because some people use complaining as a way to call out for help when they realize that no one is there for them to help them. They feel stuck and fed up with the world and how messed up their life is. It's a cry for help, really. Now we have to understand. When someone is complaining, we have to understand it, that it is a kind, a cry for help. Complaining is a way of coping for some people. And stop blaming. Don't blame others. You have to understand that it doesn't help really to keep blaming others. Do it in a nice way. You have to know how to stop complaining by being grateful. Practice gratitude. And it really helps. I've been sharing this many times. It really helps when you can write it down. Write your thoughts in a journal. Reaching out for supportive loved ones instead of just feeling frustrated, complaining into something, try to reach out the people you trust, the friend you trust, the loved one you trust. We must take steps to solve the problem instead of complaining. Again, we must be mindful enough, be wise enough to Take step to solve the problem instead of complaining. We have rep- 
we must replace the negative thoughts with positive ones this one this is very important we have to divert our mind instead of complaining yes as i said it's okay to complain but do it in a polite way be quick to change those negative thoughts into positive ones for me in my own experience it becomes easier for you to think right away to positive thoughts turning the negative thoughts into positive thoughts when you keep yourself in silence have that little time for yourself that you need to think when you can think you can use the right word you will not feel frustrated and you will not be hurting others that is doing it in a polite way in a polite manner it needs a lot of maturity to do this i understand this now that i am old I have my bad experience with this when I was younger because I don't have the patience. But being silent, giving yourself a time to think and contemplate, you are helping yourself to do the right thing and avoid using bad words and negative words this is Yundel. thank you for listening thank you for dropping here in my channel i love you all and bye, -bye.